Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. I'm going to move quickly. So if there are any stories in this video that you want to look at further, just follow the links down in the comment section below. All right. So, you know, the SBV or the SBI VC trade site went live. We are all looking for the impact that it's going to have on the XRP volume. So I look at the coin market cap today and tried to see if it showed up in the top 100 or even 200. And I'm so sorry to say that it is not yet tracking. Number one today in XRP volume was Hyobi with a total of 31 million US dollars traded. The second one was uh, Hit BTC. It had 22 million traded in XRP. Binance came in third with 14 million and BitBank, which is usually at the very top, only had 9 million traded. So it was kind of a slow day today for XRP in Japan. I'll keep following this story because I'm just sure as soon as Mr. Kitao decides to put together a campaign, campaign it will appear and have some price impact. All right, I want to introduce to you a new sentiment tool. Uh, I don't need to tell you that I'm not big on TA. It's okay, but I'm more of a person who likes to follow sentiment when I look at where the market is going. And this one uses a smart AI with an algorithm. And you can then look at your specific coin and you can track by mention or if you want to just go straight to the most positive and then in reverse you can also look at the most negative so today uh in if this was updated what was it on uh, july 30th so i think it's within a 24 hour period uh bitcoin is tracking very positive at 70.7 and we have Ethereum tracking positive at 74%. EOS is just slightly positive at 60.8%. Ripple is quite strong at 71.4%. And then Tron is very strong, 79%. There is a lot happening with Tron these days. There was a lot of trading. He had a live Periscope, which I... Uh, listened in on and he has a, an announcement coming very soon. I think that he will continue to keep our interest because Justin is not to be denied. I am, I'm a Justin fan. I just think you just can't discount him because he is relentless. Okay, keeping it moving. Uh, a new Gallup poll that was commissioned by Wells Fargo, and the title on this one uh, is Investors Are Not Biting on Bitcoin, But Many Intrigued. So uh, they only polled 2,000 U.S. adults. I think it's kind of a small sampling, but mm, nevertheless, it still has some interesting results. 2% uh, of the people polled were uh, Bitcoin owners. Only 1% plan to buy. One in four or 26% are intrigued. And three in 10 or 29% say they do know something about Bitcoin. That's higher than if you had checked like even a year ago. Uh, when you come down to risk, 70 5% feel that Bitcoin is very risky. 23% feel somewhat risky and 2% say it's not too risky. The not risky at all didn't even track, so they couldn't even put a number in there. It does have a little bit more information in regards to a breakdown with gender and age, but the bottom line is looking to the future, however, Many younger investors who currently say they are intrigued may be converted to investors once the currency goes mainstream. 
So that was what they reported to Wells Fargo and made this uh, poll uh, public. What was it? Just um, on July 27th. Okay. My favorite website in Japan for cryptocurrency is Coin Tokyo. I always like to look at the headline because the headline stories will tell me what is going on. And this one is a nice big story for XRP. Uh, there is a new exchange that launched in Taiwan called BitTrue. Now, it's not just Taiwan. They are also in the United States, Canada, and Japan. So I want to look at that because it's really a big story. They have used XRP as their base currency. The other story I want to look at just briefly is an ICO, ICO called Asobi Coin. Um, yeah, it's interesting. But let's first take a look at this story in regards to BitTrue. So BitTrue, you know, has offices uh, around the world. They actually launched with 40 coins. But listen to this. So they have paired XRP up with BTC, Ethereum, uh, US Tether, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, BCH, Gifto, and Link. Uh, they are in um, Chinese, English, Japanese, Korean, and Spanish languages for their website. Uh, but the most important thing is that Ripple is um, has been chosen as their base currency. So I think this is going to be a really big winner for the entire XRP community as well as the future investors in that coin. They do have um, very good trading fees. They're very secure, have great security, and they give away $10,000 daily in a lottery. Yeah, four people win $500, 10 people win $300, and another 10 people win $200. So it is part of their campaign to bring traders over to their website. All right, Asobi coin. This coin was all over media for a long time. Uh, they are in a stage two of their total sales. I just hadn't looked at them very closely before, but I did find that, wow, you know, I think this is an interesting project. They are the world's first distributed secondary content platform. Now, what does that mean? Well, I am just sure if you go to your phone or your uh, computer, you have downloaded some sort of game or ebook or music or software or app that you paid for, but you don't use anymore. Well, this is the marketplace that you can sell that digital content. It makes sense to me. And not only that, when you go down and take a look at the team, they have an, assembled an amazing, really amazing team of uh, founders and people who come from really well established businesses in Japan. And then they have a technical team that is very diverse and their um, strategic advisors are just stellar. So anyway, I think if you are looking for an interesting ICO, this is one you might take a look at. The Daily Hoddle had a um, article that came out just on the 29th here. So leading payment platform with 650,000 users adds crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, XRP. Sorry, I'm just reading the headline. I'm not mixing up the two. Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash to their platform. They are a global uh, payment platform and they give the customers also the option to buy and sell cryptocurrency. The company is called TransferGo. 
they are headquartered in London, but they uh, operate, basically you can send money in 47 countries, including US, China, Germany, and the UK. And now the users can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And this founder has a podcast on Bloomberg, which I'll put in the comment section. It's just four minutes long, but it really gives you a, a really good indication as to how much penetration this little company has um, been able to do. They were founded in 2012. They did, uh, they say they, they have over a thousand new customers signing up every day. They did a million uh, transfers last year. TransferGo is also a member, member of RippleNet. So, you know, RippleNet is the global network of banks and payment providers that are using the Interledger protocol to send cross-border payments. I think this is really a great addition for all of the coins that they added. So here is the podcast that I talked about. Um, it's a Bloomberg uh, podcast that was put together on the 27th of this month. And the um, uh, episode is just four minutes long. I think it's worth a listen to if you are interested in this story. Okay, this is interesting for XRP and uh, fans of Ripple as well because there are recent moves by Japanese banks into Southeast Asia. And these banks, all of them on this list except for two, are part of um, Ripple's consortium. So they are definitely moving uh, into a marketplace of 600 million new potential customers. And you can see on a case-by-case -case basis what the banks are focusing on. But if you look at the Ripple website, you will see that um, all of these except for two are part of that Ripple uh, network. So this is a good thing for XRP. All right. The story before the fluff is about Pantera Capital. They had just, you know, an unbelievable 10,000% gains uh, with their um, cryptocurrency investment uh, the last five years, but they are calling for a higher Bitcoin. Now, there are a lot of people out there making some crazy predictions in bit, the Bitcoin price, but Pantera is one I listen to. They made the prediction back in 2012 when the price of Bitcoin was only $104. They predicted that uh, at that time when it was just a 1.4 billion market capitalization that it would hit $5,000. Well, it has definitely exceeded the $5,000 mark. And now they are predicting that by the end of, of uh, 2018, we're going to see a $21,000 Bitcoin. And by the end of 2019, we're going to see a $67,000 Bitcoin. I, you know, take many of those predictions, like I said, with a grain of salt, but with Pantera, I stand up and I listen. Okay, let's get into a fluff story from Japan about predictions. This is uh, called omiku Omikuji. Omikuji is a fortune. And these fortunes can be pulled at uh, shrines or temples in Japan. They are kind of fun. They're done at the beginning of the year. And when you do pull your fortune, it is intended to be your fortune for the next 12 months. Here is uh, a young traveler 
who documented her experience pulling a omikuji, and she put up some good pictures. So there is a there is a stick that sits uh, many sticks that sit inside this cylinder, and you turn the cylinder to mix the sticks, and then shake out one of those sticks that come out of this hole here at the end. And when you pull the stick out, it has a number that corresponds to a drawer. And you can see all of the drawers here. Each one of those drawers has a different fortune. And you then uh, pull that piece of paper out and you can find out if your fortune is really good, like a daikichi, or if it is maybe not so good and has bad luck. If it has bad luck, don't worry. You then fold it and put it on a wire that's just usually next to those drawers, and that sends that bad luck off <laughs> into the skies and you don't have to keep it. If you pull a good fortune, you can keep your paper, but don't feel bad because if you have a bad one, just tie it onto the wire and try again. So that is the Omikuji fortune telling stick here in Japan. When you come and visit a shrine or a temple, be sure to do it. It only costs you like a, a hundred yen coin, which is about a dollar and you can have some fun with it. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful uh, day, evening, and afternoon. I'll see you very soon. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.